What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So we woke up to a little bit of a problem this morning. Tessie was getting ready to go to the post office and what happened? Good, good, good. So the car won't start so we think we have a dead battery. It can be either a dead battery or no, or gas. no gas But I think it's a dead battery because yesterday it was struggling a lot too to start and it's really cold outside So I'm gonna go check it out and see what we can do and then We're going to be testing one of our Christmas presents a portable jump start kit. So let's do it so Let's take a look in here so if we grab the keys and turn it on. I'm pretty sure that's a dead battery. So let's go look at this portable jump start kit, try it out and see if it works. Okay, so this is the DB power jump starter, the king of power. I will make sure to link this down below. It's an Amazon link and you can find it down below. It's a pretty good price. And it's also smart to have something like this in your car at all times, just in case you're ever by yourself and need a jump start. So it comes in a nice hard case, which is good for traveling and stuff like that. You don't want it to get damaged. Looks like you've got your cables right there. A way to charge it. So this is the actual battery pack that's going to be connected to the cables that's going to power up your battery, your car battery. So this also has a flashlight right there. It has some connectors so that you can plug in like your phone and stuff like that. So it's like a big power bank, but it can also start up your car battery if it goes dead. So, so there's not much to explain. It's a pretty simple thing. Um, I already got it charged. It took about an hour and a half to go from zero to 100%. And we'll see how good it does. So we're gonna give this a try. So what you do is you take both ends, it has a little port right here, and it looks like it'll only go in one way, so you can't mess that up. Plug that in, gonna do the on switch. So you can see right there, it says we are at 100%. You probably can't see it, but we're at 100% charge for this thing. Now all we have to do is connect it to the battery. And you can see on the part that we plugged in, the part on the cables, it has a blinking green light. Once we connect those to both ends, it should be a solid light, and that means we're good to go. So it says on here for sure what the charge is. The black one is negative, the red one is positive. That red one is positive, so you obviously don't ever wanna mess those up. So we'll connect to that guy, connect to that guy. The one thing that was giving us problems is we had to clean it off with a wire brush because it was super corroded. So make sure it's clean enough so that you get a good connection. And then, yeah, you should be good. Ready? Oh, Yay! baby! Freaking worked. <laughs> then you just take them off. Heck yeah, that's sweet. So I think it's always good to have something like this in your car. It got the job done, that's all I was looking for. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever used one of these and hit the subscribe button. We'll see ya.